Hello everyone, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising Monthly Tarot re Reading August 2018 So this is going to be a 7 card spread, this is what I choose for, uh, for the monthly reading this time and uh, the first card which represents circumstances carrying on for you Tauruses for the month of August this is going to be the two of wands then this, the next card represents the topic of your month we do have the six of cups F going further uh, that will be uh, the things you can accomplish alright that card is uh, something you have the right to choose or rather you always have the right to choose but but this card is totally circumstantial here and it does depend what your intentions are then the next card, the fourth one, represents the best possible approach toward the situation or toward the topic of the month. This is going to be the Five of Cups. Going further, we have the attitude of the people which are also involved in the topic. This is going to be the Page of Swords. <clears throat> the sixth card represents the challenges to be faced from you Tauruses that will be the Queen of Swords and the last one we do have the final outcome for uh, for your month that, that is going to be the Seven of Swords so uh, as you can see quite a complex spread here and uh, where do we start from so circumstances carrying on we have the Two of Wands which represents the uh, enormous um, fields of opportunities you can uh, you can uh, uh, strive yourself toward. What I'm trying to say here is that this month is going to be very broad for you guys. Now you, you know, there is not just one field in which you can focus yourself on. Especially with the Six of Cups as a topic it does speak that it will depend entirely upon your creativity and if it comes to relationship it will depend entirely how connected physically and emotionally you are to a specific person. Because because with the two of wands it, it means that this month is going to be a month of improvement it will be a month of where you actually lift up your bar uh, for one relationship or for one career in general so you are going to try to improve yourself in any case but how you can do that now that as I said entirely depends upon your intentions and what you want to uh, kind of focus upon all right and if you are uh, if you are a workaholic then this is, will mainly um, concern your career and it is where you will uh, try to improve your performance probably and uh, if this concerns your relationship that will be as well the case the bottom line here is guys is that mm, if you allow your creativity here because uh, it's going to be a very creative month for you and if uh, you take on that creativity then a lot of doors will be open for you but also the two of wands as a carry on circumstances it does gives aggression all right so maybe you will find yourself very very impatient uh, during the month to have it your way which there is nothing wrong with it all right it is just that uh, you also need to be prepared for some compromises to be made now that displayed here in the fourth card which is the best possible approach toward the topic five of cups and the five of cups is a card of um, well usually signifies uh, being um, agreed to the to the circumstances it is very difficult to explain it that card represents that the situation will fall will unfold in a way it is supposed to all right and you have to be humbled about the circumstances and work with them uh, instead of uh, <clears throat> trying to wait out and to um, force if you want to say it that way the perfect circumstances because let's be uh let's be fair guys let's be objective there are no perfect circumstances a person can work just with as much as they uh, as they can have and uh the the five of cups is telling you here that maybe um maybe those circumstances you're relying on may not happen in a way that you would like to but in the same time it does speak as there are two upward cards yet food yet yeah, field excuse me um, you can still push your situation through it is just um, it, it is just a matter of um, 
well as i said it's difficult to be explained it's just a matter of how uh, how adaptable you are and and how much you're um, you are capable you know to mitigate with in a changing environment because uh, that is a changing environment you know you hope that one thing is going to happen it happens but not in a way that you have imagined so you have to very quickly you know adapt yourself to the situation but the moon card here is in in a third position which represents the things you can go for in in that particular uh in that particular spread here in conjunction with the with the rest of the cars is does it does represent your uh, spiritual strength in the sense of that if you are capable to kind of like combine your imagination uh, your creativity you know with um, with as well uh, your dreams or kind of things that you uh, that you are dreaming of then it is likely that you are going to receive a, a very um, meaningful and a huge insight which will allow you to materialize those goals and those dreams. It will help you because you're going to most likely realize that these things definitely can happen, but maybe they can't happen the way you want them to happen, all right? So that's why you, you will have to re-prioritize, you will have to change your plan. So, uh, but as I said, it's going to be a, a month of improvement. Any improvement can only happen through challenges. The moon card as well uh, ad advises you, you know, to be more uh, faithful of what is going to happen or to have a faith that things are going to resolve eventually in your favor. Because the moon card is one of the cards um, saying sometimes the Things doesn't have to make any sense to us, uh, but that doesn't mean that they, they will not take any place, all right? So let's say uh, something happens uh, in your life right now and you cannot find its place, you cannot, you, you cannot determine why it is happening, well, you don't have to, all right? Things are just happening <clears throat> every day, but they surely uh, have a, a certain outlook for, for your future. And uh, with the moon card, they are intentional wise, uh, you just need to accept them and they will start working in your favor. Just accept them that they are as they are and don't try to change them and things should go for the better. Now this card also advises you to have dreams. This card advises you to believe in the, uh, in the bigger things in life and that's why you have to start focusing for improvement either career-wise or relationship-wise relying on your creativity and what is creativity if it is not the full extent of our imagination right so that's why you have to combine your imagination with your wisdom so you can reach so you can reach to that a, a very big insight that will allow you to continue on chasing your goals and your dreams the attitude to the people of the people which are around you here we have the page of swords not the attitude i would like to see in conjunction with the rest of the cards now you are going to be criticized because people will think that they could manage better with the things that you are managing right now you know it's very easy to criticize from a, um from a side not being entirely involved or at all involved into the situation saying that you could do it better and you would have uh, and, and, and your approach you know uh, would have have tremendously bigger um, benefits in the end it would have been tremendously uh, more successful well as I said it's easy to, to do that but you need to as well know that uh, these people they often don't see the uh, the full picture these people often kind of like uh, have their um, have their stubbornness in thoughts and as well uh, they are prone to see fictions as facts and also to present fictions as facts which from another hand kind of uh, place you into a manus of being deceived you know from somebody that it is uh, uh, doesn't have a, a purely clear uh, uh, entirely clear intentions towards you so whatever you hear from somebody during this particular month says it will be very wise if you kind of like place it against what you know to be true 
truth uh, uh, true and then make your decision should you follow that person or should you not follow that person the challenges which you uh, need to overcome here we have the queen of swords now this is a very fearsome woman most likely which is very experienced as well her only goal is to obtain control upon a certain situation upon a certain person uh, and uh, unfortunately with the queen of swords very ruthless she does not stop of uh, um, in front of nothing and uh, also she knows how to push things through so basically uh, <clears throat> it is advisable uh, as a um, you know things to be overcome uh, you can easily easily overcome this woman by not involving her into your activities now she have just as much control as, or, uh, as influence you give her and if you deprive her from influence or in other words does not involve her into your activities then she will have a, a little prerequisites to exert control in there thus you will not need to um, you know deal with her at all but if you in any case have to deal with her you need to know that she has extraordinary amounts of experience uh, especially business wise because she went through a lot of failures and she learned from those failures also uh, whenever confrontation arise uh, arises you need to as well know Tauruses that she is very informed all right for her the information is a virtue and uh, whatever she says that is most likely true you need to know that she knows your dirty shirt so it is best advisable not to try to compromise her through that way um, <clears throat> you know exposing her dirty shirts because she can dig up a, a dirt for your behalf as well and at the end we do have the seven of swords here as a final outcome for your month now this card at the end points that uh, eventually you will have to stand for yourself you know eventually uh, you will have to storm uh, these situations which uh, are uh, kind of like evolving in a way that is not beneficial for you although you have contributed for them the seven of swords points that you're going to realize which people in your environment and under environment I mean the entirety of your life you know relationship family co-workers etc etc are honest with you and are those who actually are not there to harm you in any way or to use you in any way and uh, the card as well um, points that you will be successful in in the improvement however that improvement will will go against a certain society of people because it's not served them any favor as a matter of fact it may obstruct them in some ways and that's why you have to be ready to stand for yourself and to make the necessary preparation not to be lied, deceived and taking actions against. So that being said, Tauruses, uh, this was your monthly tarot reading for August, the general one. Now, if you know, if you want to go deeper and you want to check for your career and your um, relationship, there will be a uh, extended tarot reading that focuses on those both in a separate uh, spread and can be purchased for just as little as $1 from my website that it is written down below in the description of this video there as well you can find the uh, services I provide for a personal reading in case you're interested of and with that being said I wish you best of luck in August and we're gonna see each other next time until then bye